Welcome back to another episode of Fixing Tech on My Kitchen Table. As you can tell, we're not at the kitchen table, that's because I've moved house and I've actually got my own little workshop here, so uh, everything's going to be back on this bench. Um, not sure if I'm going to change the name from Fixing Tech on My Kitchen Table because I kind of like it, but um, here on the bench we've got a uh, MVS Jammer arcade board. Um, I'll power this up and I'll show you what happens. Um, basically, it's got a memory error. Just powering it up through the uh, super gun connector up to the TV, and there we go. It's got a uh, backup RAM error. Um, until I diagnose uh, what's wrong with the actual backup RAM, um, I'm just going to install uh, this UniBIOS. Uh, I believe with the UniBIOS, you can uh, skip the uh, errors. Um, so, I need to desolder this chip and uh, install a socket for the uh, UniBIOS. But once that's in. Hopefully I can get this uh, working and then diagnose uh, what's going on with this backup RAM. The backup RAM is actually just down here. Uh, it's probably uh, either broken trace or, or some of the RAM that's gone bad. But um, I'll uh, desolder this chip and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. I've almost finished desoldering one side. Um, there's a few in the middle that I need to clean up. But um, as you can see, the um, solder's come off away from the board and leaving a the gap where the uh, legs go into for the chip. So I've got a one more to do and then I'll clean it up with some uh, some isopropyl alcohol and um, we'll pop the chip out. Hopefully it'll just come right out. But uh, yeah, basically um, to desolder the chip, you just add a bit more solder to each of the pins, maybe some on the other side and then get your solder sucker, suck it out. It does take a while if you're struggling with a particular pin, just um, add a bit more solder and um, hopefully it'll come out the next time but uh, if you get stuck on one pin and it's really annoying you just move on to the next one because you can always come back to it saves you butchering that pin if you get it too hot so um, I'll be back in a moment once I finish the uh, next bit right so I've fit the uh, chip holder um, it's just a case of popping in the UniBIOS and um, giving it a whirl hopefully it'll uh, boot straight up to the UniBIOS I've never used the UniBIOS before so I'm not sure what the uh, what it should come up with, but uh, I'll uh, just connect that up. Let's so, say uh, you're doing it through the, uh, the super gun, so hopefully the yeah, carry on. Super gun on. Nothing's exploded, so that's always good. I think you should do something without a cartridge, but uh, let's have a look. They're certainly not doing anything, so I don't know what that actually means, whether I've uh, naffed it up or what, but uh, stick a cartridge in and we'll find out. So, as you can see, I've just popped a cartridge in there. Uh, King of Fighters 94. Let's uh, turn this bad boy on and see. All right, we'll still get the same in error, but obviously it's um, through the uh, through the UniBIOS. Um, I haven't actually got a joypad plugged in, so let me uh, plug a controller in, and hopefully we can skip this error. It does uh, does say press A to uh, to resume, so uh, hopefully we can skip past the backup RAM error. So hopefully on the joypad I can uh, select the A button to resume and it's still uh, still giving me the forced error. Uh, I can't really read the text at the top. So I've popped it into AES mode I believe. Uh, got some corruption there. Seems to just be rebooting. Let me uh, turn it off, turn it back on. As I say, I've never used the uh, never used the Neo Geo uh, with the uh, UniBIOS on before, so um, I'm hoping you can skip the uh, skip this screen. It's probably in the uh, dip switch settings, so I'll. Give that a go and uh, 
Let's see. I haven't found, managed to find the, uh, the menu to skip the uh, self-check, but um, I've changed some options in the uh, AES menu. Um, and if I go into there, it does actually boot up. Okay. First, I did have some lines on corruption, but I think that was just the, uh, the cartridge that wasn't in properly. And now uh, it actually does, um, it does play okay. Um, slight, uh, slight flicker at the top there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, it could just be uh, an artifact of the game, maybe. Um, I am stuck on two-player, which is slightly annoying. Um, obviously, the um, the super gun doesn't have the correct amount of buttons for. Uh, selecting and what have you um, due to using Mega Drive joypads but uh, it does seem to be working okay. I've only got the one game to test which is the King of Fighters as you see running here um, but it all does seem to be working fine. Obviously skipping the error is not the best thing to do you need to still need to get rid of the error by uh, I'm assuming replacing some of the RAM or the control chips contra controlling the, uh, the RAM but um, yeah, it seems to work okay. Obviously there's no sound because uh, uh, Neo Geo um, uses a separate amp compared to JAMA which uses through um, the Super Gun but um, I, I trust that the sound works and I obviously need to hook that up properly but um, yeah it seems to uh, seem to have skipped the error at least and uh, can play a game but uh, we still need to fix the the fault on the backup RAM properly but uh, that's it for this uh, episode of Fix the Tech of My Kitchen Table I'll uh, see you next time probably to fix this one